The phone's not ringing as much. What happened? What am I going to do? Hey, it's Bill. This is Creative License, and thanks again for being a part of the Little Dog and Pony Show. My sponsors are below. Check out them. But this is a, this is a big one that I've found, especially the last few years after COVID and all the things that happened. We, a lot of people are in that place that people, the phone's not ringing, uh, or it's ringing differently, or the clients are different, or this is not the same. It's like, okay, okay, a couple of things there. First of all, nothing's the same. Everything changes, COVID or no COVID. The only thing you can be sure of is that everything changes. So let's just forget about that. Um, so here you are trying to figure out what the one thing is. I have, well, and, and when people ask me that, I'm like, well, uh, have you been reaching out to your past clients? Yeah, I have. Have you been doing, you're doing your marketing? I have. Um, do you have uh, updates on your website? Do you do your SEOs? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. So maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's nothing at all. Maybe it's just the way it is right now. <laughs> and maybe you just have to take consideration into consideration that sometimes it's just there's a lull. Now, I'll give you an example of this. When I worked in Detroit years ago, I was in the nightclub business and I hired and fired DJs and I hired and fired bands. And I worked these clubs so there were bands and there were DJs all the time. A DJ and an MC that, that, that worked with the bands and before the band and after the band it was great. Um, and this chain of restaurants or chain of nightclubs had been around a long time. And if you've ever been in a club, you know that there's this honeymoon period in the first year and a half where people can't get enough of it. People are there all the time. And then business starts to fall off and they start to wonder, well, what did I do wrong? Well, you didn't do anything wrong. You probably just got to a place where you're a little saturated or people are kind of used to you now. So they're looking for new things. And I'm not saying that that's what's going on with DJ. Just listen to my, listen to my analogy. Because what I found working in the restaurant business for the next 10 years, especially the clubs, is that two years was about the time that the people that are in the business for a really long time went out of their way to rebuild and rebrand. This specifically is the place that I saw it first. It's a big corporation. It's still around. They still own uh, probably 15 nightclubs in the Detroit area, uh, around the suburbs and everything. And they've been called a lot of different things. What they do is every two years, they start again. They close the place down for about a month. They tear out the bar. They repaint the walls. They get a bunch of new tables and new booths, a new dance floor, a new stage. They just rebuild inside the the building, and they give it a new name. They keep the staff, they keep the prices. In fact, usually they up the prices. And when they reopen, they have this huge honeymoon, honeymoon period again. And it happens all over again for two years. And then they do it again. And in two years, they do it again. In two years, they do it again. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go and throw all your gear out and start like you got nothing. But if you were successful a year ago, and all of a sudden things are going south. The truth is you knew how you got successful, right? And it might have taken you 10 years, it might have taken you 15 years, and you made a lot of mistakes along the way. And when you were making those mistakes, you learned from them, you adjusted, and you built this great brand of a company. Well, if it's falling off, why don't you just treat it like you're starting again? It's just an idea. But imagine if you, and I'm not saying re, rebrand the company, but you could, right? All those things you did along the way, you now know what you did. It's not going to take you 10 years to rebuild, to start as if you don't have any followers, as start as if you don't have any people excited about you or talking about you. Treat all of your old contacts, all of your old customers, all of your old marketing like it's never been done before. Redo it like you've never done it. And don't, you want to learn from the mistakes of the, of the choices you made. But now those choices will be better. They'll be more distinct. You'll make them quicker and they'll have more power because all the other ones, you blew it. You blew it and blew it and blew it until you got it right. Now you know how it works. So 
Think about this. If you're really going through what you're, what you're saying you're going through, and I'm not saying you all are because you probably aren't, but there are people who are. Step back and think to yourself, if I had to start my business again, what would I do? And then start there. Don't start here. Don't start where you are. Start back here again and build again. So you have fresh contacts, people thinking fresh things about you. So that all of a sudden you think fresh, your business is fresh and you look fresh and you are fresh. Why not? I mean, what do you have to lose at this point? All right. What do you think? Have you done this before? Uh, have you, have you, do you think anything is wrong with my idea? I want to know. This is not for everybody. I'm sure. This is Bill. This is Creative License and I'll see you next time.